What's up, guys? This is Webby back again for your Monday Night Raw review for September 18th, 2017. Last night, Raw, you know, six days away from No Mercy, WrestleMania worthy No Mercy. You know, they built up. Strowman and Lesnar pretty good. They didn't really build up Cena and Reigns very good. Had a good package of them, but I'm going to get to Roman Reigns and how WWE is shoving this match down our throat, how they just described it tonight because. Honestly, it was nauseating. It, it was kind of sickening. Icon versus Icon. Since when is Roman Reigns an Icon? And, you know, we went through this when Roman Reigns faced The Undertaker. And how it doesn't matter... If he beat The Undertaker, it still was going to be The Undertaker's yard. Well, now WWE's proclaiming that. Whose WWE is it? Is it John Cena's or is it Roman Reigns? It doesn't matter if Roman Reigns beats John Cena. Michael Cole, Vince McMahon, Benny Mac, Kevin Dunn, John Cena will always rule WWE until he goes bye bye. Roman Reigns is not that guy. He's proven it time and time again on the microphone. All the way up through this build. John Cena putting him over isn't going to change that. I'm sorry. It's just not. And this week, Roman Reigns by himself. They kept John Cena off TV so Roman Reigns could talk to by himself, cut a promo by himself. Short, sweet, to the point. Thankfully, a little short, sweet, to the point. About how John Cena wasn't there tonight. About how he's going to beat him at no mercy. Blah, blah, blah. Same old stuff we hear out of Reigns. Same old stuff we hear out of every superstar about John Cena. Will we see that at no mercy? More than likely. Do we want to see it at no mercy? No. I don't know anybody that wants to see Roman Reigns beat John Cena, but I do know that even if John Cena loses, it will still be his WWE. That was that angle of the night. Lesnar's and Strowman's match was built up pretty good. I'll get to that in just a little bit. One thing I did notice was that... Enzo is right back on the bottom of the food chain once again. Strowman absolutely wiped him away, destroyed him, manhandled him, choke slammed him all over the place. Neville finished him off, picked the bones, and that was it. Enzo is officially buried on Monday Night Raw. Will he take? The Cruiserweight Championship, we will all find out. But as of right now, Vinnie Mac is in the back smiling and laughing because we all know he likes to see Enzo get his butt whipped. Kurt Hawkins, you know how he likes to tell the facts. Uh, his losing streak continues tonight as... Apollo Crews and Titus Worldwide 
picks up a victory over Kurt Hawkins. So what? Who cares? There you go. Cesaro and Sheamus took on Anderson and Gallows, took on Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins. All six of these guys came out and pretty much cut a promo. Anderson and Gallows called them nerds. Cesaro and Sheamus said that Rollins and Ambrose were a nostalgic act and that they were going to get beat up and they were going to take their tag team championship at no mercy. The same type of stuff you usually hear. And Ambrose and Rollins pretty much said, we're nostalgic. You did come out in kilt. So that's pretty much what we heard of uh, them before we saw the same matchup pretty much that we saw last week on Raw. We're seeing the same type of stuff each and every week. I am tired of seeing Cesaro and Sheamus take on Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose. We've been seeing this since before SummerSlam. Enough already. Nia Jax took on Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss ran off and she was wanting to not have anything to do with Nia Jax. Of course, Sasha Banks throws her back in. Bailey towards the end of the match afterwards, after Nia Jax wins, comes out and all three of them take Nia Jax down. And then, of course, Alexa Bliss gets belly to belly by Bailey. So, it is now a fatal five way for the women's championship. At no mercy, Bailey has been added to that mix. One thing I do want to mention though, Emma was not in Monday Night Raw. She is buried tonight. Where was she? Why wasn't she on there? Dumb. I mean, that is dumb. She's part of the matchup too, and you don't have her on Monday Night Raw. I realize we're in San Jose, California, but you could at least put her on there or something along those lines. Instead, you just, uh, forget it. Who cares? It's just Emma. She's nothing to the women's division. Never understand WWE. Kurt Angle and The Miz have their segment. Kurt Angle wishes The Miz congratulations on having a baby. And The Miz buries Kurt Angle. Of course, you know, it's all storyline and everything about how, you know, The Miz is going to be a better father than Kurt Angle and all this type of stuff. And, of course, The Miz says that he is not being looked at as serious. The championship um, is being treated like dirt. Well, honestly... You want to know truth? Monday Night Raw has treated the Intercontinental Championship like dirt ever since The Miz came to Raw. So, you know, that's just a blunt statement right there by The Miz. But Kurt Angle says, well, we're going to have a six pack fail four way matchup to determine the number one contender, the Hardy Boys. Jason Jordan, which I know some people are getting behind. Not everybody. I'm not one of them, but you know, I, I, I there's a big reason why I'm not getting behind him. And Elias are all in that fatal four way. Next thing we know, Bo Dallas and Kurt is. Axel are added to the mix because Jason Jordan one of them added to the mix. Look, Jason Jordan, I can't get behind him because he just does not have any character at all. 
He has all the wrestling talent in the world. But he has no character. If they would do more stuff with Kurt Angle and him backstage segments and not just do match after match after match after match, it'd be different. Instead, they've just done matches and now he's getting an IC strap matchup. Will they pull the trigger and give it to him? Remains to be seen. But still, you know, who in the right mind can get behind this when it's just pure matches? There's no character whatsoever being built up for Jason Jordan. And until there is, I just can't get behind it. Let me know in the comments below if you can. Finn Balor has his nursery rhyme. It wasn't Bray Wyatt giving one. Finn Balor gives a nursery rhyme about a man reading, you know, these stories, and then a demon is born because he read all these stories about Caesar and different things, and then. This demon is born, and then the man behind the demon is crazy and different things. And at no mercy, Ray Wyatt's going to see the demon. That was the gist of it. And, you know, Finn Balor really looked creepy and, 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 and kind of nuts during this promo. Ray Wyatt easily disposes of gold dust slash Dustin Rhodes, because Dustin Rhodes wanted a match tonight. Afterwards is when we got the Finn Balor promo. And in the main event, before I talk about Brock Lesnar, Elias, Bo Dallas, Curtis Axel, the Hardy Boys, and Jason Jordan. Good matchup. Not going to say anything bad about it. There wasn't any reason to add Curtis Axel and Bo Dallas to it. That was just, that doesn't intrigue anybody. We all know that that wasn't going to do anything different to it. I really think that it would have been better to give Jeff Hardy at least one more matchup, seeing as how the other one ended. He should have got at least a, a return match. And then if the Miz wanted to retain, he could retain the championship. And then you could pick up with Jason Jordan. But you know how WWE is. Jason Jordan wins here. We'll see what happens at No Mercy. As far as Brock Lesnar and Braun Strowman, they had a good confrontation in the back Paul Heyman saying it's all about Brock Lesnar stop asking all these questions the Braun Strowman kind of typical Braun Strowman you know saying I've dominated you I've destroyed you I've monsterized you I've manhandled you I've done what nobody else has done to you amongst other things Brock Lesnar plain and simple I'm taking you to suplex city You've awoken me up. you backed me into a corner. You wait till I see what I do to you on Sunday at No Mercy. Should be an epic confrontation. Should be an awesome confrontation for us wrestling fans this Sunday at No Mercy. Can't wait to see what happens. You all let me know what you're thinking in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that thumbs up. Hit the bell so you get all the notifications when they come in. Go back and watch the Survivor Series 1993 review. Tune in tonight for SmackDown Live review. What will happen to Kevin Owens because he attacked Mr. McMahon last week. Tune in Wednesday for my 
no mercy preview and predictions no mercy review immediately following no mercy tune in for that as well and until I see you again this is Webby and I'll catch you on the other side talk